Ooh, what's up guys and welcome to, um, well, pretty much an e E3 post video. Uh, I didn't make a video about the koala and that the dingo, those Australian uh, uh, clearly monsters for Hawaii. I didn't, <laughs> I made a few jokes about it, but yeah, I didn't make a video about it because I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't feeling it. Uh, I fa thought that this E3 presentation was much, much for it. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna talk about the Pokemons themselves. There really aren't too many things to say about it. That looks like the standard stuff. But the reason I want to make a video is because I actually noticed a few things on uh, on the video, and uh, you know whether or not that happened. Of course, a new battle mode. I thought that that could be uh, fun of actually just throwing out away, you know, my thoughts and what I, what I think that could mean in the future. Uh, but yeah, really, with all that said, let's actually start off, of course, trailer. Which, of course, everybody has already seen. So, the starting off with, you know, <laughs> oh, the logo, yay! Um, and then just showcasing, first of all, of course, that, uh, what's it called? Pika, Piki Peck? So, so, you know, that's a mon. Uh, Piki Peck is, of course, for the time being, the normal flying. And uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. It's a woodpecker, so that's kind of nice. And obviously, that's the mon that were in concept when they were showing the first trailer, so we you know, kind of like that. Uh, at least we get like a real face this time, and it actually looks really cute. Um, you got the skilling ability, which I thought was really cool, mostly because it's very it, it will get fear attack, right? That That's definitely up there. And then it feels like a bullet seed Pokemon, uh, since the entry uh, on the, uh, the site Showcase that was actually spouting or shooting seeds, uh, so that makes sense. A so fear attack and seeds, you know that that works. Uh, really hoping for absolute of the skill links attack. I mean, look at Chinchino for example. It gets rock blast. It doesn't look like a Pokemon that should pull up rocks, but but you know I'll take it. So I kind of want to see that on this one too. And of course, pin missile wouldn't be all too bad. Tail slap because it's a strep, stretch, strep, <laughs> and uh, yeah. It looks solid, it looks like your standard flying type for your new generation. Um, they did catch it in uh, the trailer or in the E3 um, game showcase and it had three stages, so we're confirming that too. So it's not a swallow, it's, uh, it's a three stage mon. And of course, we're gonna talk about the abilities and I'll say that for the time being, probably has a more superior hidden one, so let's hope for that. But skill link, yeah, cool, nice. Really, really like that. And for next mob, we actually got probably one the people got the most laugh out of. That was actually the first mob we saw. So it was new. And that was the Young Goose. And it's a Mongoose, I'm sure. Uh, and it got um, something new called Stakeout. Which um, I actually didn't read about what that one do. Okay, this is actually really cool. I actually read it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I had to stop mid-recording. Stakeout actually does this, and this is this could be nice depending on what kind of mon this turn out to be. But Stakeout does double the damage if you switch out from it, pretty much an analytic boost. But not only that, if the mon is entering the field, then it does double the damage. So if you are in mid-battle and you're switching in, or rather if you're bringing in a Pokemon such as oh your your mon went down, like Popolio went down, now you're gonna bring in um, the yeah, the that bird Pokemon, big, big pick, piggy pick. Um, then that mod will get double the damage against it too. So it's actually, um, it's a hundred percent extra damage, which is awesome. It got strong jaw too, which it looks like it, <laughs> it looks like it should have that. But yeah, I mean, Stakeout could be a very, very interesting uh, ability. So let's hope this thing gets pursued and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure they can't do this mod overly powerful. Since it is a ancient slavish mon, but uh, at least the ability itself looks like looks very promising and looks like something that uh, well, a person would think twice about switching out. And if this gets pursued, it kind of helps that thought process too. Um, so yeah, this is uh, this is not bad. I like it. Uh, this young goose is definitely easiest, the funniest mon thus far. Then that is followed up actually by a new mon, a bug mon, which is called uh, Grubbin, and it, it's a larva form, but like, we don't get to get, know anything about it, really. Um, it's, uh, Pokedex entry is kind of interesting, and probably what I get from it is that 
It says obviously due to larva form like Weedle and Caterpie, the first form always has Swarm and we don't get to know any dual typing, we don't get to know any possible stats or whether or not it has, you know, um, like I said, typing and ability, like ability changes uh, once larva form is over. But what we can get from here is the Grubby relies on, on its sturdy jaw uh, in battle and it's a tool to bury him through Earth. Uh, Grumman loves electricity, with, or electricity. Uh, that's why I can't go near power plants uh, or substation. By wrapping tree branches, its sticky threads shoots up with his mouth. Grubbin can swing around like like an actor, suspension wise. So my best guess is that this Pokemon either turns to a bug ground or a bug electric. Both would be fine. Uh, I like the idea of a bug electric one, but at the same time, it would be cool with a real bug ground. So after this, they're showcasing actually Magiarna, and uh, they explain its new ability, which is uh, something with heart, a soul heart or something like that. And um, the thing is, people were acting like um, it, that ability was like Moxie, and it kind of looked apart. But the thing is, it gets it's a special attack raised when an allied Pokemon went down. We don't know whether or not it'll get a boost on its uh, special attack if it takes Dalamon. So for the time being it looks like that's a doubles Pokemon. That's the, you know that's the best I got from it. Uh, and Fleur Cannon looks like you know like pretty much a, a stronger strong uh, I can't even speak a stronger a uh, fairy move. Probably something like uh, what uh, Florius Lesser Evolution had the Ace Threat. Um, I'm pretty sure it's something like that. I, I'm feeling this is um a, that that is pretty much the same thing. Uh, we don't know that as of yet, but that's that's something I have been thinking about. That that could be very likely that it just uh, redesigned the move and made it um a move for Magiana. That's that's the only thing I really got. Uh, they also showcase new form of um, Solio and um, I'm saying that wrong, aren't I? Uh, I think you call it Soleo. I'm actually trying my best here. Um, no, Sol Galileo. All right, it's a Galileo. Sun Galileo. I, I don't know. So Radiant Sun phase anyway, which we don't know anything. And Lunala's Full Moon phase. Yeah, Full Moon phase. I'm sure. Um, so they're they're looking the part basically. They're they're a bit shifted, but that's really about it. Uh, and it's not like they are reintroducing what that means more than it looks like. Or if I had to guess, um, probably it's in some with their signature move to use it, then they're changing form or something like that. Who knows? And uh, then they're going into you know, the Battle Royale thing. And a uh, mixed feeling about that. Mostly because I think they screwed it up. Um, and, you know, they're taking full credit for it. Um, I mean, they know about free for alls already. Uh, X and Y definitely introduced that concept, or rather, uh, the players introduced that concept. But, um, yeah, like I said, they really, really screwed this up. And I don't really know because now it's based on, uh, even though they call it Battle Royale, which was, as far as I know, is a last man standing kind of uh, way of going at it. Uh, they stated that once the first trainer is out of Mons, uh, then the battle is over, then the three players are left are dedicated as who's the winner, and the winner is based on how many Mons you killed. And did that... Oh, that does not work for me. That means that you try to pick up kills instead, instead of actually having something more of a kind of survival kind of thing. So I missed the mark there, Game Freak. You re actually really missed the mark. That's actually a bad... Like, the, the concept was so good, the concept was always set. I mean, they obviously have seen players doing this. Um, and it feels like they missed out on the concept. And, and that was a very, very simple concept to kind of follow up on. Now, I will relax a little bit because we actually don't know uh, all of it yet, of course. But, like I said, I feel I screwed it up. But hopefully this is customizable. Um, because if not, then wow. What a way to miss the mark. Like I said, they're, they're, it's such a simple concept. Last Man Standing is what it always has been about. And killing three months and wrap the game up, yeah, 
that that sucks like really really sucks but that's all about battle royale I feel like I'm bashing bits of hard on it but it just like I said they had the concept it's been around for jubilee three years now and they missed it like oh yeah they're, they're people are playing like this how about we give them point no no you don't Ugh. it bothers me it actually does uh, one thing I noticed uh, while the battle was going on was that the parallax scrolling was gone. That's bothering me a lot, actually. Um, parallax scrolling is basically when you're fielding. Uh, one thing I really burn for and like are parallax scrolling that looks nice. That is that you have a foreground and a background, and they are they are on different level of movement, which means that you have a like more embracing background i am a big fan of that and they had it in the first trailer uh, but not in the in-game graphic which probably means one thing really that when they showcased the trailer the in-game um in-game graphics was not on the 3ds so that's why they actually solved the parallax scrolling and um since it's gone now i'm kind of realized that it's either because they couldn't fix the models um I mean, having a trainer 3D model, which I actually like, um, having that around probably pushed to the limit on a 3DS. But I'd much rather have better better backgrounds than a freaking human behind my Pokemon. Uh, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, if that was the waiver, then no. Why? They showcase at least that, you know, they can have four trainers on the field and, um, and four Pokemon, and it's actually running fine. So, uh, th that's a good thing. That means at least that they figured that out. Um, so it's not like chugging, which it actually was on uh, on X and Y. Uh, didn't have that on Auras and the same, uh, same issues, but not as wide. But yeah, oh, sorry for joining. But uh, yeah, those are my general thoughts. Like, they didn't really showcase a whole lot on E3. I didn't want them to showcase too much. Um, was a bit disappointed, I guess, that uh, they really, really, really just, uh, like, the gameplay, I know that it didn't, they said they didn't want to reveal, like, story elements, which, wow, you remember that? You remember when Pokemon had a story? Oh, yeah, that, that is, that would be unfortunate if they reveal a story of Pokemon. One kid collecting eight batch and getting to Elite Four, yeah, 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 that, that's, can't spoil that, but... <laughs> But yeah, the thing that bothered me was that they didn't push it on. Like, I didn't really necessarily wanted to see new Pokemon. I just wanted to see uh, how the game mechanic was going on. You know, with double battles and stuff like that. I want to see stuff like that. And then that might be asking too much, uh, obviously. But I feel like they only showcase from, uh, you know, from your starting point till where the trailer basically goes for. Uh, the first trailer, like, here is that battle between them. I feel that like that was just stretching it, like, between those two places. So they really didn't really show any game, anything new from the game outside of the mount your face during that way. So yeah, yeah, uh. but yeah, you know, always, I am complaining a lot here, but I'm actually really, really excited. I just feel that there are a few things that aren't consistent with what they showed from the beginning. So we, I'll, I'll leave my expectation of the of the engine quite low because already showcase, of course, the Gengar, Salamence, Ladybug. Uh, they look the same, they'll have the same 3D models as an X and Y, which means that they haven't re-invited or re redesigned anything um, at all. That also means that the engine they're running are the X and Y engine, wh which is not bad, it actually looks nice, but also looks like this game will f will suffer due to it. It will look, uh, it will look older while being new, and, um, and I think for generations ahead will probably not see really the difference between these games outside of the dates they were released which I feel is something that is is unfortunate I mean the compare diamond or uh, diamond and pearl to to black and white and you definitely see a step ahead in the sprite work don't have that with the 3d models and that ah why I mean they could have done something at least maybe it's sharper maybe but uh, it, it, yeah I don't know I don't know so yeah, a lot of complaining. I am still excited about the game. It's just those are the things I noticed, and they got me not in a bad mood, but um, 
those are things that I was looking forward to see and seeing that they stay the same yeah that that that's kind of you know you can it's, it's, it's basically it's a it's an expansion pack basically is what I'm getting from it so anyway you know getting new Pokemon is really all that matters I, I know new adventure please I, I want to collect my eighth badge in a different ways I'm just joking with you guys uh, so what are your thoughts about the new Pokemon and the trailers ahead? Or did you notice something that I left out? Left out? Uh, if so, make sure to comment that down below. I know I, this got rather lengthy. I did that really thought about that. Uh, but hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. And uh, I see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.